when the conservator came in with the first painting, yes, we were absolutely terrified. I jokingly asked him whether this painting was insured. And he said, yes, absolutely. He had it estimated at a half a million dollars. So I don't want to be the one that torches a half a million dollar painting. It's not just because of the money, but this is really irreplaceable artwork. We are now starting to learn something that conservators maybe have not known before. We can identify the pigments. Are those pigments consistent with the, uh, the time when this painting was supposed to have been made? We can look at the structural information. For example, what application techniques are on there. Most people probably aren't aware of how a, a painting is typically constructed. It's not like a photograph. It's not, you know, one layer of paint. It's usually composed of multiple layers of paint. You can learn a lot about the artist's technique or the attribution of the painting to a particular artist if you can understand how he applied the paint. 3D imaging is actually a, an application area of ultra-fast laser science. Palm probe microscopy is one variation of multi-photo microscopy or non-linear microscopy. The spectroscopy basis of this is we have our pump beam that affects optical properties of the material under study. Then we have a probe beam that then interrogates what happened optically to the sample because of that pump beam that, just, that you just sent in. With a pump probe, you could do what we now call virtual cross-sections, where you could actually characterize the different paint layers in a way that wasn't destructive. I did not think I was going to have anything to do with art at all, because I'm not an art expert and I'm, an, I'm not an artist. But my background in science and chemistry really helps figuring out these questions that conservators face.